seen some rumors on Twitter that the Chargers might trade Justin Herbert. And I know it's just rumors and it doesn't really make really? sense financially until after Justin, June 1st. But I was at the owners' meetings, the NFL annual meeting, and I sat and listened to Harbaugh talk for half an hour just for the novelty of it. I used to cover him. It's been so long. He's back. It's like Twilight Zone. He's in the 60s. It's so strange. He's like an older man and he's like mellowed out and he likes talking to the press. It's so strange. So I uh, asked him about Justin Herbert. What do you like about Justin Herbert? Why are you eager to coach him? And I thought he gave a decidedly lukewarm answer for someone that a lot of people think is flat out elite. And he said, you know what? I watched all of his film and there's no question he can make all the throws. And then he was pretty much done praising him. And he's like, you know, but at this point, it's really about winning and competing and wanting to compete in the NFC, in the AFC West and wanting to compete against Patrick Mahomes. And he, he wasn't like saying he didn't want to, but he was sort of like, that's what he was focusing on. And to me, what he's saying is, yeah, I mean, it's physically, there's no question about Justin Herbert. There's never been a question about Justin Herbert, but how come he doesn't win? He didn't really win that much in college. He doesn't really win in the NFL. He makes a ton of money. What kind of a competitor is he really? Um, and then he was asked about J.J. McCarthy. And I, the way he talked about it, and I know he's usually he's over the moon with the quarterbacks he's coached. He had a lot of praise for Kaepernick and Alex Smith too, but he really talked about J.J. McCarthy. Like he's the best quarterback of all time. Best pro day of all time. Ultimate competitor. Just the ultimate makeup for a, a quarterback. And it kind of made me thinking like, are they going to draft J.J. McCarthy? Are they going to have both guys on the team? Are they going to are they going to potentially trade Justin Herbert? Because Kyle, I mean, I, Jim seems a hundred percent sold on JJ McCarthy. I don't know. What do you think? It's super interesting because you know when he talked about Alex Smith, what did he say? He's tougher than a two dollar steak. Right. Right. And what does Jim want in a quarterback? He wants himself. He wants, yeah. and he, and he thinks of himself as kind of an overlooked tough guy. Right. And that's what JJ McCarthy is. He's it's not Herbert. And it's, it's not, not Herbert. Herbert. It's uh -uh. not Herbert with his bandanas and his, uh -uh. and his awesome throwing motion and his losses. So, I mean, you could get so much for Herbert, mm -hmm. so much for Herbert. I so much. Now they can't trade him until after June 1st financially, but they yeah. can't trade him after June 1st. Maybe you draft uh, McCarthy at six and because he'll be there most likely. And then uh, you trade Herbert in June, you know, for a, Maybe for not. a, for a King's ransom. I mean, yeah, for a King's it. ransom. What, what do you think Herbert fetches? I would say Herbert fetches two ones and two twos. At least. And you, you get a huge contract off the books. And you get a, a quarterback on a rookie deal, could blow up in your face. But it seems like the kind of thing that Jim Harbaugh would entertain doing. I look, I was just sitting there and I asked, I was expecting him to say a lot of praise for Justin Herbert. Because what I was expecting is he took this job because of Justin Herbert. That's why he's here. But that didn't sound like that way at all to me. It's like, oh yeah, I mean, we all can see how he throws, but he still has a lot to prove. He took this. Meanwhile, job JJ McCarthy is freaking proven. Like, what? Well, and I think he took the job because of Brendan Staley. Okay. He just looks at Staley as just terrible. And he's like, ah, you know what? I can be way better than that guy. Yeah. So, and they're loaded. They're loaded roster wise. And, you know, he's got his hand picked GM, which he didn't have the first time around. He That's wanted true. Mike, Mike, uh, um, well, who Lombardi. Michael Lombardi. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And instead he got Trent Balky. Now he gets this Hortiz guy and he likes him. He wants him. So Jim's all about control. I could see them going J.J. McCarthy and uh, trading trading Herbert. I mean, you'd get so much for Herbert. It would be unbelievable. Also, it would be like a hostile takeover of the team. Like, you thought this was your team? You thought this is Justin Herbert's team, him making $55 million? No. He's gone. My team. New quarterbacks, 23 years old. What do you think? I'm just trying to think what team would then trade for Herbert. I mean, it'd probably be on any number of teams interested. I mean, maybe team my, maybe Miami. Herbert? Maybe Miami, if um, you know, if their quarterback continues to fall on his face. What about Minnesota? Minnesota. I got Justin Dallas. Jefferson. That might work. Maybe Dallas. Would Dallas Maybe. make? 
go for a big maybe New England. I mean, look, they got rid of their wide receivers. They're trying to run the ball a lot. Why are you spending fifty five million dollars on a quarterback so you can run the ball more than any other team? And also, Herbert doesn't seem like a Harbaugh guy at all. At all. No. I'm sorry. It, like Harbaugh is intense, and Justin Herbert seems like a shrinking violet, doesn't he? Herbert just seems like super gifted and a little fragile, uh -huh. and and Harbaugh seems like he wants, you know, a reincarnation of him. I mean, Justin Herbert. What kind of leader is he? Does he have a voice? Does he talk? He throws a beautiful ball. He throws a beautiful ball. We all know and that. He's rough, but, and he's roughly 500. Uh-huh. Why? It's never his fault, right? Right. I don't know. I didn't expect Harbaugh to say that. Again, I thought he took the job for Herbert. But mm, we'll see. It's something to monitor. Maybe he views Herbert as a coach killer. Maybe he, use, he views Herbert as a trade chip. Right. You don't know. But it's, it's highly intriguing. It's oh, it highly is. intriguing. Because I was over here. I mean, I don't watch Herbert every week. I see him here and there. He looks great. He makes some phenomenal throws, but then he doesn't make the playoffs. And it's not his fault, right? It's Brandon Staley's fault. It's everyone's fault. Uh huh. But if Jim Harbaugh thinks he's going to hold him back, then God, that's not good for Justin. That's not well, and, and, and if year one is, I mean, if you think about it this way too year one's about, you know, having your initial draft and getting out of cap hell. Okay. Um, maybe year two is about, you know, um, setting yourself up for some draft bonanza by trading the quarterback. We've never seen Harbaugh really have to coach a highly paid elite quote unquote quarterback. He had Alex Smith. Alex Smith had no leverage. Then he had Colin Kaepernick on a rookie deal. Then he left. Now he's got Justin Herbert making all this money and he might be a little sensitive and do you really see Jim Harbaugh like tiptoeing around Justin Herbert's ego and feelings or just bringing in someone he knows he can coach? And, and the way he talked about J.J. McCarthy, oh, my God. You would have thought that J.J. McCarthy was like his dream human being. Mm -hmm. He Not loves just quarterback. J.J. McCarthy. It was over the top. He kept and, talking and JJ about him. is supposedly tough and he's a leader and this and that. I could see Harbaugh saying, Hey, give me JJ McCarthy and I'll move off of I'll move off of uh you know the guy who looks like a, a almost the kind of like central casting quarterback. Because that's what he's got right now. He's got the long armed sunshine, you know, kind of Trevor Lawrence 2.0. Um, the kind of quarterback that everybody dreams of having. Um, I, I would not su be surprised if they pivoted off of him. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Something to watch. All right, it's 4 o'clock on the West Coast on Friday. We missed our show on our regular Tuesday afternoon slot because I was in Orlando, um, which was all right. I mean, not to just totally dump on another city, but like not a ton of culture although there's a lot of brazilians there i didn't know that that's some culture you didn't and go to disney world no i'm not a big disney guy i feel like it's almost like deviant behavior like if you go to disney world you need you need to have like eight kids <laughs> you know, like what are you doing well, going to disney about, on your own yeah right? at least at least one how about that yeah yeah at least well you gotta be a guardian you can't just be going to disney like what are you doing here sir oh right. i'm here for the the rides no you're not so yeah i didn't do that uh, you know, and also there's a lot of tourists there. What tourists, was the, what, what was the weather like? It was uh, pretty windy at first, and then it warmed up a little bit. It was better than this. This is depressing. But it wasn't, Stop raining. It wasn't hot. It wasn't hot. It wasn't that hot, but it was better than this. Yeah. It's, so it was, oh, and yeah. also, oh, also another thing about Florida. I don't go to Florida that much, and it's cool. I'm not dumping off Florida. You get an Uber, and they're like, "So where are you from?" Oh, I'm from San Francisco, and immediately they're like. Oh, it's such a shame what's happening in California these days. It's like, hey, shut up. You live in Orlando. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. It's such a shame what's going on. So we, I, I just get into town and the guy's like, okay, so you're staying in downtown. As long as you don't go on this side of the freeway, you'll be fine. And he goes, but actually you're from California. So you might be, you might have a good time over on that side of the freeway. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? What does that mean? 
Wow. I was offended. Guys taking shots. Yeah, who are you to take shots at me, Central Florida man? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I enjoyed Northern California. You enjoy Central Florida. Yeah. Seriously, I- that's where you come back and be like, hey, here's, you know, you give them a gigantic paper bag. What's that for? So you can catch one of those gigantic bugs that you guys have like, that we don't have here. You know? as, 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 there you go. As, like, there, there was like a an older Brazilian lady. As, as I told her I was from Cal- San Francisco. She was like, oh, man, it's... It's terrible what's going on out there. It's like, you do? God, they've indoctrinated everyone out here. You should come. I'll t- we have a great time. It's DeSantis. It's the DeSantis commercials. He uses crazy. As that his- really it- cracked me up. And it was anyway, DeSantis against uh, Gavin. So that's such what a I'm shame missing. what's going on out there. You don't come over. I don't go to Orlando and say it's such a shame how much Disney you got over here because it is a shame. <laughs> it's a shame. It's too much Disney for one town. 